Ani bojo sego bindigen. My name is Shirley John, elder from Saging First Nation, Ojibwe Mohawk. My Anishinaabe name is Strong Lake Buffalo Woman, and she who sees vision of wisdom. I'm from the Loon and Grizzly Bear Clan. The turtle is my helper, and I have the spirit of the grizzly bear. Seven Grandfather Teachings, also known as the Seven Sacred Teachings. The ego teaches us love. Love must be unconditional. To feel true love is to know the Creator. Therefore, it is expected that one's first love is to be the Great Spirit. He is considered the father of all children and the giver of human life. Love given to the Great Spirit is expressed through love to oneself. And it is understood that if one cannot love oneself, it is impossible to love anyone else. The eagle was chosen by the Great Spirit to represent this law, as the eagle can reach the highest out of, the, of all creatures in bringing pure vision to the seeker. Although the supplier of the greatest and most powerful medicine, love can, can also be the most elusive of the teachings, as it depends upon the world that acknowledges the importance of spirituality. The buffalo teaches us respect. Respect is the condition of being honored. The buffalo, through giving its life and sharing every part of its being, showed the deepest respect it had for the people. No animal was more important to the existence of the indigenous families than this animal, and its gift provided shelter, clothing, utensils for daily living. Native people believed themselves to be true caretakers of the great herds and developed a sustainable relationship with the buffalo resulting in a relationship that was a true expression of respect. The bear teaches us courage. Courage is the ability to face danger, fear, or changes with confidence and bravery. The bear provides many lessons in the way it lives, but courage is the most important teaching it offers. Though gentle by nature, the ferociousness of a mother bear when one of her cubs is approached is the true definition of courage. To have the mental and moral strength to overcome fears that prevent us from living our true spirit as human beings is a great challenge that must be met with the same vigor and intensity as a mother bear protecting her cub. Living of the heart and living of the spirit is difficult, but the bear's example shows us how to face any danger to achieve these goals. The Sabe teaches us honesty. Honesty is speaking and acting truthfully and thereby remain morally upright. Long ago, there was a giant called Kichisabe. Kichisabe walked among the people to remind them to be honest to the laws of the Creator and honest to each other. The highest honor that could be bestowed upon an individual was the saying, there walks an honest man, he can be trusted. To be truly honest was to keep the promises one made to the Creator, to others, and to oneself. The elders would say, Never try to be someone else. Live true to your spirit. Be honest to yourself and accept who you are the way Creator made you. The beaver teaches us wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to make decisions based on personal knowledge and experience. The building of a community is entirely dependent on gifts given to each member by the Creator and how these gifts are used. The beaver's example of using his sharp teeth for cutting trees and branches to build his dams and lodges expresses his teaching. If he did not use his teeth, the, the teeth would continue to grow until they became useless, ultimately making it impossible for him to sustain himself. The same can be said for human beings. One spirit will grow weak if it is not fulfilling its use. When used properly, however, these gifts contribute to the development of a peaceful and healthy community. The wolf teaches us humility. Humility is being humble and not arrogant. Recognizing and acknowledging that there is a higher power than man and it is known as the creator is to be deemed truly humble. To express difference or submission to the Creator through the acceptance that all beings are equal is to capture the spirit of humility. The expression of this humility is manifested through the consideration of others before ourselves. In this way, 
the wolf became the teacher of this lesson. He bows his head in the presence of others out of difference, and once hunted will not take of the food until it can be shared with the pack. His lack of arrogance and respect for his community is a hard lesson, but integral in the Aboriginal way. The turtle teaches us truth. Truth is to know and understand all the seven teachings that have been given to us by, by the Creator and to remain faithful to them. To know truth is to know and understand all of the original laws as given by the Creator and to remain faithful to them. It is said in the beginning when the Creator made man and gave him the seven sacred laws, the grandmother turtle was present to ensure that the laws would never be lost or forgotten. On the back of a turtle are the 13 moon, each representing the truth of one cycle of Earth's rotation around the sun. The 28 markings on her back represent the cycle of the moon of a woman's body. The shell of the turtle represents the body, real events as created by the higher power, and serves as a reminder of the Creator's will and teaching. Miigwech.